saturated crisphenol helps in protein purification. It is actually saturated phenol with Tris HCl. Again, the centrifugation is repeated at 12,000 RPM for 20 minutes, maintaining a 4 degree Celsius temperature. Sodium acetate. This is used to speed up the precipitation of DNA by ethanol. While using, the isopropanol is placed in ice. To the transferred aqueous layer, we would add ice cold isopropanol. Equal volume of sodium acetate is also added. After this step, the samples can be stored for overnight. After which, we have to give once more a centrifugation at 12,000 RPM at, for 20 minutes, maintaining temperature 4 degrees Celsius. After centrifugation, discard the aqueous layer and allow it to air dry for 5 to 10 minutes. Seventy percentage ethanol. This helps in removing the debris and precipitation of the DNA. To the air dried samples, add few mul of seventy percentage ethanol. Now, the centrifuge is repeated, but just for 10 minutes, maintaining 12,000 RPM at 4 degrees Celsius. After centrifugation, discard the aqueous layer and allow it to air dry for 5 to 10 minutes. 1XTE buffer is used for the temporary storage of the DNA sample. Now the sample can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius. Now we will be using agros gel electrophoresis. Resolution of DNA species on agros gel is widely used reliable method in gene manipulation experiments and is rapidly and relatively inexpensive method. Agros gel electrophoresis is useful in identification of separation DNA molecules between the size 250 to 500 base pairs. Now, to prepare the agros gel, we would require agros TB buffer. For this, take 80 ml of TBE buffer. Add 
0.8 grams of agarose to this TBE buffer and warm it in the micro oven for 2 minutes. After warming your agarose gel, pour the agarose gel into your template. It should be taken into consideration that your template is not leaking and is enclosed from all the sides. Now, after the gel has solidified, gently remove the comb. This would be how the gel would appear. Now, take 5 ml of your DNA sample and mix it along with 3 ml of ethidium bromide. Now, load the mixture carefully into the wells. Now, after loading, Run your electrophoresis unit at 70 volts, that is 400 milliampers, for 30 minutes. This will be how your gel would appear after 30 minutes. This is the final step where the genome is being analyzed using an alpha mixture. These are the various gel images that were recorded using the alpha imager. Brought to you by the Sony Company.